I'm alone in the house, which is kind of rare, for the first Sweet Tooth Thursday after Veda. So Nina's not in the video today, I'm sorry, but I think that's probably a good thing because I don't know if I'd be able to give her today's snack or not. Japan really has a love affair with food. I've heard that Japan has more TV shows about food than anywhere else in the world. So there is a fascination with, with with regional foods and foods of other cultures, which is why I wasn't really surprised when I found these potato chips. These are called exo chips, which kind of sounds like some kind of bad science fiction plot device. Well, they're not that, but they are potato chips with Thai flavoring. This one's Tam Yang Kun, and this one is green curry. The thing that did surprise me about this a bit is that these could potentially be really spicy, and Japan doesn't really have a lot of spicy food in their culture. And from personal experience, a lot of Japanese people can't handle really spicy food. So I'm wondering how faithful these are to actual Thai flavors. These are Japanese produced chips with a Thai flavoring. Tam Yang Kun is flavored with red pepper, lemongrass, some kind of citrus fruit called kobu mikang, coriander, ginger, and celery seed. Looks good. And the green curry has a little bit more with green pepper of some kind. The red pepper, the coriander, cumin, turmeric, ginger, and garlic. To me, these sound fantastic. I'm looking forward to digging into them. If they're at all authentic in their Thai taste, though, I don't think Nina would have liked them too much. She would have tried, but we would have ended up with another video like the Kai and the Wasabi Potato Chips video, which would not have been a bad thing, but I'm not that bad a father to purposefully inflict spiciness onto my child. Although, I, if they ever come up with that five times spicy Wasabi Chip again, I am going to give it to Kai again to see what his reaction is this time. <laughs> okay, I am a terrible father, I know. I can't read the little bit of Thai there is in the package, so I'm just going to have to assume it says the same thing the Japanese does. Tam Yang Kun, I think it's Aji flavor. Oh, which one should I try first? Oh, I don't know. Ooh, coconuts milk, no amami. So there's coconut milk in that one. Lemongrass, no something. I can't decide which one to eat. Which one do you want to see me eat? Click on whichever one you want, or if you are using something that can't use annotations, look in the description down below. And, you know, kind of hurry, please. They're not heavy, but my arms are getting tired just because I'm in bad shape. You know, I really should exercise more. That's no excuse for you not to click. And yes, I know there are some of you that are going to watch until I give up just because you like seeing me when what I say and do I give up. Fine, fine, I give up. Okay, maybe I don't give up. Come on, click already. I'm looking at you and waiting for you to click. I'll use the other eye too. Okay, if you haven't clicked by now, you're just not going to. So yeah, I, I really do give up. That's it. This has nothing to do with the main video, but it's thematically related and too good to share. The other day my friends came over for a movie night, and when they were leaving, we gave them a bunch of eggs. Some chicken's eggs and some pheasant's eggs. My friend's wife took those pheasant's eggs and made homemade custard. I put this on cake, but I don't have any. So, I put it on ice cream. I'm being decadent. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it is oh so good. Mmm. Homemade pheasant egg custard. Golden pheasant egg custard. That's some sweet tooth goodness right there.